Guess who's going to college? Grownish, starring Yara Shahidi, Dion Cole, Trevor Jackson, Francia Raisha, Luke Sabat, and Chloe and Hallie. Zoe's all grown up and she's off to college where she'll have to face boys, drugs, alcohol, sex, and still try to get her education. Now, first off, Grownish is a spinoff from the hit show that critically acclaimed Blackish with Anthony Anderson and Tracy Ellis Ross. Blackish is kind of like the new Cosby show. Blackish is just about this black family who lives in the suburbs and they deal with race issues, uh, family issues. Cosby show also had a spinoff, A Different World, where the oldest daughter went off to college. She went off to a, a predominantly black college. Going into this new show, Grownish, People were wondering, is this going to be like a new, a different world? Me? I don't think so. Pros of this TV show is, first, we have Yara Shahidi. She's the oldest daughter out of the Blackish children. If you're a fan of Blackish, you're going to be a fan of this show. Just off the strength of, you know, we've seen Yara or Zoe, the character. We've seen her grow, and now she's this young woman. She's in college. Yara, she's getting better at acting. She was already good as a young girl, but now she's getting better. And Grownish, we have a great cast. Trevor Jackson, who was in American Crime, I want to believe season two, who played a dramatic role. In this one, we get to see him have fun. He plays this kind of social, political black guy. We have Luke Sabat, this fashion guy in the real world. He's a model and like a stylist. In the show, we played this artsy guy. We have Chloe and Hallie, two singers signed to Beyonce's label. They play these sassy black girls from the hood who are like gym stars. We have Francia Raisa. The thing with Francia Raisa that kind of throws me off is that she was a part of The Secret Life of American Teenager. That's a show way, way back, almost 10 years. She was playing um, this high schooler in this show with Shailene Woodley. When that show started, Shailene was like 17, Francia is like 20, and now it just it just feels weird that she's in this grownish show with all these other kids. We know she's a little older. She doesn't look it, but it's just, I know she's way older than these other actors, so it just kind of throws me off. Some of the other characters, they're all diverse, all different um, sexual orientations. That's a plus, so anyone can enjoy it. The show is um, relatable, the subjects deal with um, drugs, drinking, having relationships, uh, internships, your first real love, trying to balance relationships and do your schoolwork, social issues. I am a little surprised at the explicit language. The channel is Freeform, um, that was formerly ABC, but they let them fly off with a lot of uh, language that I didn't think they would, but I guess since it's like supposed to be college, they're, you know, they're letting it fly. Now, the cons. I don't think this show is as funny as Blackish. I know if you want to talk about the Cosby show in a different world, I feel like there's some people who would pick a different world over the Cosby show. And I don't really see anyone picking Grownish over Blackish. The show's funny, but it's not as funny as the original show. I don't know if it's gonna stand out as a classic as The Different Worlds, a classic TV show. I don't know if Grownish is gonna have the people talking like Atlanta or Blackish or Insecure. I feel like the, the demo for this show is high school girls or girls fresh into college. And that's really about it. I mean, the show has time to grow. I'll give this show three stars and a half, but did you watch it? Let me know. Leave some comments below, subscribe to our channel. This is Andy Mack, this is Grownish, Livewire.